Hi folks and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I am out here with the boatless angler himself, who is not boatless today. Not today. We've got Antonio with us today, folks. And we got our first hookup already. We just started trolling out here. We're fishing uh, we're fishing uh, Lake Ontario, just close to the mouth of the Niagara River. And we just started trolling at about 20 feet of water. And we got our first hookup. Now we don't know when you're fishing out here, it's late April. You got the opportunity to hook into a lake trout, a salmon, a rainbow, a brown trout. So many different fish. All we're doing is we're running crankbaits. In fact, I'm running the new Thundermist crankbait for the first time, folks. This is called the American Smelt. And it actually isn't even available until the summer of 2015. And it looks like I've got myself a lake trout. Okay. What do you think? Got him? Oh. Not quite tuckered out yet, Antonio. <laughs> Still got a little life in him. Oh, boy, they don't want to give up. There we go in my little bass net. And there we go out of the little bass net. You need a bigger net. net. <laughs> that kid, I know. I know. We always joke about this little bass net, but I love my little bass net. And if you do it right, it well, worked. It worked. It worked. That's a nice lake trout, eh? I've been running the gold, the gold American smelt crankbait. I went with the gold because it's sunny out, but the water is a little bit murky. Okay. Thanks, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Nice, That's like, a nice fish. Hey, what do you think? It's great. That's a great start to our day right there. And we just witnessed the first fish on the prototype new American smelt by Thunder Mist. First fish, first time wet. I gotta love that. That's great. Okay, we're gonna get this guy back in or how about a quick photo for our uh, Sure. For our Instagram friends. Okay. Quick photo and we'll get him back in. Oh yeah, he wants to go. Okay. Like I say, we're fishing out here. It's late April. Can you hand me my rod, please, Antonio? Thank you. Okay, it's late April. That fish came out of 20 feet of water. Um, we've got a water temperature of 39 degrees, so it's still very, very cold. It's been a very cold spring. And the method we're doing today, uh, we're just flatlining. So all I have on here, I've got my crankbait on, this, the, the new American smelt and a single snap. So all they've got on is a single snap. And uh, when I'm running today, I've got my line counter reel. And if you've never used one, it's got a little line counter on here. And as you're letting the line out, which I'm gonna do now, put it in gear. The way these work is basically it counts how much line you're letting, letting out behind you. And I had 120 feet of line behind me that's how I was trolling. So what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to go back. When this counter hits 120 feet, I'm going to stop and keep trolling at that length. So that's the beauty of the line counter. You could keep track of exactly how much line you have out there, and you could always go back to that, uh, that particular uh, length of line. So right now I'm at 70 feet. You're going to keep going to 120. And then quite simply, all we're doing is we're trolling at about what three miles an hour Antonio three three and a half three to three and a half yeah roughly averaging about three miles an hour and here we are I'm at 120 feet of line and all we're doing is flat lining anyone can do this it's very simple just get your lure out there just snap one on and, uh, and just start trolling and what I like to do to get the maximum depth out of that lure is when I'm trolling I keep my rod tip down close to the water Keep my rod tip down and that allows me to get maximum depth out there. If my rod tip was up higher, that's going to try to force my lure to come up higher. But we want to stay fairly close to the bottom, especially if there's lake trout around because those lake trout just, they hug the bottom, they see that crankbait coming and they just, they just attack it. So we're hoping to get into some more fish here today. We're flatlining for fun, so stay tuned folks. Oh, that was, that was something. Oh, that was something, folks. I just put, we just got our lights back in again, eh? Yeah. That didn't take long. You didn't even have it out there. 
Doesn't seem like a big one, but it's... <laughs> that, was, that was fast. That was fast. Oh. If this is any indication, folks, I think we're in for a great day. There he is. Oh, he's on top of the water already. Oh, dude, this is a small one. It's not really small. It's a small one. Wow, you took that big smell. Nice. Oh, you put the uh, the more natural color on. Yeah. Nice. That's a nice little laker. Beautiful. So you, you want to keep that one? I do. Okay, well, they, why not? Put them in the box. Okay. Now that's your first fish on the new, like I say folks, we're running, these are new prototypes. They won't be out until the summer, this summer of 2015. You put the more white one on, eh? Yeah. A little more natural color. It worked really well. It's got a good wobble. I really like the action on it. You like the action, eh? And the hooks. Well, They're we're having... Sticky sharp. Yeah. Well, we're kind of excited, folks, because it's a whole new lineup that we've got. These are the bigger crankbaits. We've got smaller ones as well, but we're going to keep running these ones right now. We're going to keep trolling. <laughs> You know what? I think we got a double header. You got one too, or we got, we got a double header. I thought I had you. <laughs> this is, folks, this is five minutes between that last fish. <laughs> this is crazy. The fish are just down here stacked. What a way to break in these new lures. Wow. <laughs> oh, I got a nice, that's a nice, another nice lake trout. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to have to land our own fish. He's full of spunk, this one. Wow! Let me know when you're done with the net. Oh, he's still green. He's just, he doesn't want to come in. Oh! <laughs> I gotta lighten up on the drag. He is, oh my goodness. I can't believe how strong these lake trout are, folks. And this isn't even a big lake trout, but boy, are they ever strong. I think he just realized he's been hooked. We just, I, I hooked into this fish, just killed the motor. Antonio started reeling his lure in so that we could, he could land my fish. Yours is ready to be landed? Yeah. We got a double going. Okay, you land yours first and then we'll get mine in. Another small one? Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> now we should tell you, because we're running new lures, Antonio says, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try a new color. He took that natural one off and you put on what the purple purple <laughs> Oh boy, we're having fun folks. This is great Like I say, it's late April and if Antonio can get that lure out, I think I can get this fish landing You want to land him? Yeah, great There he is they're, they're both the same size? I would say they're twins. They're twins. They are twins. They are twins. Okay. Oh, good. He just came off too. Perfect. That makes it easy. Okay, let's take a look here, Antonio. These are really nice lake trout, eh? Look at that. I think yours might be a little bigger. Hey, that, <laughs> what do you think? These are just beautiful fish right there. Hey? I like them. That's really neat. Okay, let's get these guys back in the yep. water. You you kept that other small one, so you should be good for dinner. Okay. Wow. Unbelievable, folks. Late April, just flat lining. We haven't been out here 20 minutes. Lake Ontario, we've got the, the mouth of Niagara River is just down there, and I think we found a bit of a sweet spot because Coming out of the river, there's darker, murky water, and then it turns into more bluish water. And we're fishing the area just between the murky water and the blue water. Uh, I don't know if that's what's doing it, but I'm gonna stick with that plan because it's working. I'm into another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing my line in, I'm bringing it in. <laughs> Does it feel like a good one? It feels much bigger than the other one, yeah. so. I'll grab the net, give me a second here. Okay. Got my lure out. All right, feels bigger? It feels bigger, yeah. Yeah? Nice. Okay, what a beautiful day we're having out here today. Okay, swimming towards the boat. Yeah, well, crank them in. I hope he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> well, when they swim towards the boat, they feel like they're not there anymore, but uh, don't be fooled. You gotta keep that line tight and keep cranking. Oh yeah, he's there. Oh yeah, and this, 
Don't worry. And then when he starts to run, your drag set nicely. It's tight. Beauty. <laughs> Do you think it's bigger than the last one? Oh, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. And that's what I really like about these new American smelt crankbaits, folks. They look very, very realistic. In fact, that last trout we caught coughed up a, a small smelt, a little smelt that he coughed up. But the, the whole key with these lures, very, very realistic looking. The shape, the shape is very, very realistic. And that is one nice lake trout. Oh, yes. That's a little better, eh? <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a that's heavy fish. That's a good fish. one. That's a thick, heavy fish. Oh, my. All right, let's get it back. Back in he goes. Oh, we're getting some real nice fish today. Well, everything is going right for us today, folks. This is unbelievable. The weatherman's cooperating. We got just a slight chop on the water. The winds are calm. And you know what? There's nobody out here. Just us. It's just us. It's yeah. like we got Lake Ontario to ourselves. Us and fish. <laughs> okay. okay, not quite to ourselves. Us and, and the lake trout by the looks of it. But this is unbelievable. We're keeping the speed at three miles an hour. I'm bumping it three miles, 3.1, 3.2. And, uh, and the other thing I'm doing is I'm also making some, some bends as I'm trolling along the way here. And what happens on those bends, my lure on one side of the boat is going to be doing one speed. And on the other side of the boat, the other lure is going to be doing another speed. So they, that's the advantage of making these bends, is you're actually changing the speed of the lure without changing the speed of the boat. Okay, this one feels like he's got some weight to him. Now as he comes closer to the boat, what I'm going to do is just lighten up on my drag a bit because they get heavier and I don't want to break them off. But it feels like a, it feels like a decent fish. Also, when they see the boat, they usually bolt. You're right. <laughs> or the net. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They see the boat and they're gone. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah, not bad. Not huge, but good fish. Okay, actually, he fought a lot bigger than he is. Nice. But that's still a nice lake trout right there. You can hear the rattles in that American smelt rattling away. Those rattles are extra attractor. Like I say, we're, the water's a little bit murky, so the rattles are gonna help. And, oh, the lure just came out, so that's great. That'll make her a nice catch and release right there. Okay, there we go. All right, there's another nice lake trout right there. Boy, this is fun. Slimed and love it. <laughs> purple strikes again, eh? Doesn't take long. The purple strike. Beautiful. Okay, where's the net? Back there, I'll grab it. All right, swimming right towards the boat again. Swimming towards the boat. They like to do that, don't they? Swimming towards the boat. Okay. Feels like a decent one. Yeah? Yeah. These are all nice fish. What a beautiful fish. What a fishery we've got here at Lake Ontario. The fishery is just fantastic. There you go. That's another nice fish. Thanks. Not as big as that last one, but a beauty. Oh. I'm into another one. You didn't get your line in. You're gonna. You're gonna are you gonna let me fish or what? <laughs> <laughs> he just put his line back in. <laughs> I didn't even put mine out yet. Oh my! That's unbelievable. They just must be stacked up in here. Partly the lure though, I think it's got a really nice wobble and can't resist it. You're liking that, aren't you? That's another nice fish. And that's a little smaller one, that's nice though. They're liking that purple. Nice, back in he goes. Yep. Catch and release. I'll let you get your line right this I, time. I just put my line in right now. I just fired up the motor, Antonio. I'm not waiting for you this time. <laughs> <laughs> get my line in. There you go, this time. Last time I got my lure in there, Antonio. 120 feet back. I think I made and away we go. You cross my line? Cross my line. Oh, we might be all messed up here, Antonio. I think you're crossing me there pretty good. Okay. 
tight. Yeah, I got it tight. I got it tight. Unsnap this lure. Okay. <laughs> the joys of fishing. Okay. These lake trout, where they want to go, where they want to go. Okay, go. we're back. Now we could be casting and cranking, but the whole advantage of this trolling is that we're covering a lot of water. Covering a lot of water means we're going at we're we're we're, we're seeking more fish. We're covering more water, and that's the key, as opposed to just casting and covering small bodies of water. By trolling, you can cover a lot of water in a short period of time. And boy, are we having a great day with these new Thunder Mist American Smelt lures today, folks. We're just having a riot. What a way to break these lures in, eh? Great. <laughs> okay, come over to your side. And when they hit, folks, it's just a hit. It's just a thunk. And there's just no mistake, it's just a big thunk. Look at this fish. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, there we go. There's another nice lake trout right there. Oh my. Okay. Oh, he just came off too, there, eh? Look at that. There's another nice fish right there. There's a good lake trout. Oh, this is unbelievable fishing, eh, Antonio? Very nice. This, folks, is fishing at its best. No two ways about it. Okay, let's get this guy back in. All right, off like a bullet. Well, well, we've been out here for how long, Antonio? An, an hour, maybe? If Not, that. If that. We're just having a great day out here. Running the flat lining, folks, trolling, springtime. You know, after a long winter, get out there, enjoy some of this fine weather that we had. The wind's been blowing like crazy the last week. We got finally a decent day on the water. Hopefully you'll be able to get out there and enjoy some fishing as well. Try some trolling, it's a lot of fun, and I hope you get into some good fish. Well, I want to thank you so much. It's always great to see you. We have some great subscribers. We're, we're thankful for our subscribers. We love all the comments that you put in, and we want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. He just inhaled it. He must have just, he must have just, he just engulfed it. Unbelievable. He just engulfed that jig. There is a